Accessories. So my name is Schmalix K here, and today or this week is YouTubers Week. And um, if you haven't noticed by like, the last few weeks, is that Access is having a little bit of problem, um, just with people and um, uh, just not being able to upload. Some of us, like, I'm I'm always free, but I also haven't started school yet, and I don't start school until, like, September something. I think the 2nd of September, and so I'm not having a problem with this, but other people like Sky and everyone are because it's just so much stuff that they need to do, and sometimes you get, like, your laptop taken away or your phone taken away and you can't do stuff, and so it's just really kind of hard, but, um, hopefully we're all on track now, but... One thing, if you haven't seen from last week, is that Swirly um, did not upload last week, but me and Sky did. And so we haven't heard from Swirly in a few days, and so hopefully she either sees this video or something. We haven't heard from Swirly um, in a couple of weeks, actually. I think the last time we heard from her was when we started taking our break that we did for two weeks. And that was, like, the only time, because she said, yeah, I'm okay with the break. And, um, that's, like, the last time we heard from her. I know she followed me back on, like, Instagram or something, and that's all I've heard. So, um, we're just having little problems here and there, but hopefully we get them all straightened out soon, and we're back on track. Well, to this week. So, this week is YouTubers Week, and so we talk about our favorite YouTubers, um, I'm gonna add in why I started, <coughs> why I started YouTube, and just stuff like that, and, um, so, my favorite YouTubers, I think I have a top three without gamers, and then I'll get into, like, my top gamers, but, um, well, Minecraft gamers and stuff, but, um, definitely my top three overall YouTubers, no gamers included, is Joy Graceffa, Shane Dawson, and Strawberry17, also known as Lifebury, also known as Megan Camarena, um, Though her brother David's pretty awesome, too. And Tyler, and Ochuel, and Ricky, and JC's definitely up there, but... The one thing that's happening with my favorite YouTubers is Shane, he has all these different... Well, my eyes are sparkling. Um, Shane has these different people doing his channel with him like he has I don't know who it is but he has someone doing um he has someone doing something I, I don't have I don't watch those videos I just watched once Shane does but um then there's also um whatever her name I can't even remember I usually know it but um Alexis Gizal doing bomb.com and there's just all this stuff going on and he's really inappropriate but that's also what makes him funny but that's just sometimes it's a little overboard. And so that's the one problem I'm having with Shane race recently. And then um, ever since like he got his haircut and stuff, Joey, he's kind of losing touch with his original self that I fell in love with. Though I still love his videos. They just don't always seem the same. Like his, collab his collabs are awesome. His vlogs are nice. I used to watch them way more than I do now, but I guess that's just me, probably. And then Strawberry, I used to love. I loved her channel, and I used to watch it every day until she started doing the, like, the Minecraft videos in this day. I love her cooking videos overall. Her cooking and, um, Gossip Boy are my two favorite. And, and sometimes I watch, like, her vlogs and stuff on Lifebury, and just overall, mostly I just watch her channel because she's awesome. And some of you guys will probably hate on me for saying this stuff, but it's just my opinion on my favorite YouTubers. Like, they're still my favorite YouTubers overall. But, um, then, like, Tyler's all also really awesome. Ricky's awesome. JC's hilarious. Um, he uploads every Thursday. And O2L's awesome. They're a collab channel just like us. And, yeah. So... Um, those are my favorite kind of YouTubers. And then I have my favorite gamer YouTubers. So my favorite gamer YouTubers, or at least everyone that I watch, um, are all part of a server. It's a Minecraft server. Um, also known as the Cube SMP. 
um, not also known, known as the Cuba S&P. And so there's, like, strawberry jam. Grape I don't really watch, but grape's pretty awesome. The Camping Rusher. Grazer 10 is definitely probably one of my, the top three, or no, the top four are Grazer, H-Bomb, Parker, and the Camping Rusher. But I also watch like Strawberry Jam and everyone like that. So if you don't know who those are, I'd really go check them out. They're pretty awesome. There's like Strawberry Jam, Follow Kevin, also known as Kevin Vieira, um, Grape Applesauce. Who else is on that server? Kermit, um, and all these other people. And I know them all, but I just it's just a long list. Bionni, Bionni Dude is awesome too. So, yeah. So, if you want to go check out any of my favorite YouTubers, those are them. But, those are all, like, big channels. There are not really any, like, small channels I like to enjoy. Like, I know it's kind of hard. That's kind of hard to say because we are small, ch small channels. Mine, my main channel only has, like, 51 or 52 subscribers. This only has, I want to say, like, 12. Somewhere around there. But, you know, that's Okay. Because small YouTubers are sometimes even better to watch than big YouTubers. Yeah, we don't collab with other big YouTubers, but we have fun and we stay in touch with our roots. And I think the video that I fell in love with, Joey, was one of his like earlier videos. Um, and Shane, of course, at the same time. Was, like, I used to watch Joey when he um, had like a long, I, I hate to say this, but kind of long emo hair. And then when it kind of got better and better, and I watched him on The Amazing Race is actually how I found out about him. Because um, it says, like, YouTuber Megan and him. And then I found out about Shane when they did, like, the prank video where they kissed and stuff the first time. And so, yeah, that's kind of how I got into this. And I kind of just connected, and I feel like that's why I, be I started YouTube. It's just because I fell in love with being able to express my feelings, um, get to know other people around the world, being kind of famous on the internet is something that's really popular now. I hate to say it, but kind of mainstream. <laughs> I have to bring this into a topic because um, I was asking for topics and somebody had said it to me. Um... Something along the lines of mainstream, which also brings me to my topic of EDM. So if you don't know what EDM is, it's electronic dance music. The last recently, it's kind of become really popular. <laughs> Why? Like, I like electronic dance music, no doubt. It's one of my favorite, especially to DJ, but... Why is it just becoming famous? And just becoming mainstream? I don't follow mainstream stuff. But I love electronic dance music. Why is it mainstream now? Or why do people use the word mainstream? I'm sorry. I had to bring that in though. But I became a YouTuber because I wanted to get in touch with people like you guys. Um, like Sky. Like Serena. Like Swirly. Like... There's some other YouTubers that I met online that are small YouTubers, but are pretty awesome. They have their loyal fans, and I just find that amazing, and that's why I started making YouTube videos. If you feel like you can't make music or YouTube videos because music videos, YouTube videos because you're not, you don't have a good camera, you don't have a microphone, you don't have the proper lights, you feel like people will hate on you, you feel weird talking in public when you're, like, vlogging. You know, that's how I felt when I first started. And I still kind of feel weird um, with some of it, especially around my friends. But some of them find it really awesome. Like, when I first started you out YouTube, no one knew. No one knew about me, no one knew about anything. And after a few days, I started to get subscribers, and I started to feel good. And... If you go check out my main channel, SmileXK, you'll see my earlier videos were just, hate to use the word, ratchet. They used a camera that I had on my computer that sucks. They had lighting from my room. Like right now, I'm only using the lighting from my brand new light bulbs and my Kindle to give off a flashlight light. That's what's right here without it. 
with it. And you don't really need the microphone, technically. Some people don't even use the microphones. Um, I know... In, if you don't have, like, a stand... Like, I have a tripod that I could use, but I don't. And I still feel... I don't vlog necessarily like I do one take vlogs but I don't necessarily vlog just because I feel awkward especially where I live where like in California I think it would be different but where I live um there's no YouTubers where I live you will probably never meet a YouTuber from where I live you'll probably meet like one or two that are just like small channel ones but you'll never meet someone that has at least a hundred subscribers and you know why because it's not a place where you would. And you don't, like, I know you can't record in Walmart. I know you can't, like, Costco, you probably could. But I know you can't record in Walmart. And that's why people, like, hide their cameras for, like, pranks and stuff. Because they can't. And, um, it would be really awkward. I know people in California even that person's staring at me um yeah they say that all the time during their vlogs and you know what it's true because it's kind of weird you're talking to a camera like when i first told my friends i was a youtuber and they started making videos with me they thought it was really weird and they were kind of awkward and they still kind of are um i just um if you could check my main channel i made a video um a little bit while back with like it was called like the best friend tag or something like that or weirdos and um it was me and two friends that had never been on my channel. And they were so awkward, but it made it hilarious. And my cousin, my parents, well, my dad doesn't know. My mom knows that I make YouTube videos because I use her, lot, her computer sometimes. You know, it's kind of awkward. And I just started off just making them in my room. And look where I'm at now. I have 51 subscribers, so are 52, and 11 on this one. And I started a game channel that never worked out. But, you know, that's okay. And that's just what you gotta learn. And there's no fame without hate. So if you're worried about getting haters, you know, there's no fame without hate. Even if you become famous, you're gonna have haters. Go check out any comments on Joey's or any of your favorite YouTubers. They will be hate in there somewhere. And so I just wanted to bring that up as, like, this topic. We have plenty... We... Alright, so that brings me... So that's the end of this video, technically. But as my, like, outro, goodbye sort of thing, I wanted to mention, um, a little thing. I did not run this by Sky. Like, I did run it by Sky, but, like, I didn't run it that I was going to say in my video. Um, just because I think Sky doesn't think I'm really, like, up for the idea. Like, I am, but I'm not. And so, I thought I'd bring it up in this video. We are looking for people to fill our days. My dad's phone's going off. Um, we're looking for people to fill our days. We don't know what's up with Swirly, so we might need someone for two day Tuesdays, but if Swirly does come back, then we need someone for Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and maybe possibly Sunday. And we're looking not only for girls, but we're thinking about maybe changing the channel name and bringing in some guys, because it's a cool to have like a co-ed or um, a female and male or a girl and boy collab channel. You know, like, O2L is all guys, but they also live in one house. So, if we bring in some guys, we think it would be really cool to get, like, the guy versus girls aspect. So, if you're a guy or a girl, and you're in the age group maybe 13, but um, anywhere between, I would say, 13 to 16, or th 14 to 15 maybe, um and you're interested in joining a collab channel, comment down below, or you guys can leave a message, direct message me on Twitter, um, at aq and AK Alex, message the channel at Twitter, direct message us on this, um, whatever you want to do, comment down below. If you guys are interested in joining, we think it would be really awesome to get, like, some of you guys join in. And, yeah, so we're looking for people to fill our days and that have really creative minds, maybe some YouTube experience. Um, we know we don't have the bestest cameras, the bestest, the best cameras, but somebody that has a decent camera, that was one of our rules at the beginning, is that some we had to have decent video or we probably weren't going to be able to because we were on, like, trial. 
So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it and found my topic as to being a YouTuber and my favorite YouTubers. And hope you guys, if you aren't a YouTuber, will maybe become one in the future. And you guys look forward to maybe Sorley's video tomorrow and Sky's video Friday. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you accessors are having fun today. Peace out.